What's up guys? Today we're coming at you with a Shadal deck profile. So let's jump into it. Let's see what we're coming at you with. We're running two Shadal Beasts. Beast in my opinion is the greatest card for the Shadals. You give him the flip effect. He's going to draw you two cards, which is a graceful charity effect. And then if he's sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you're going to get an upstart effect. Just draw one card. So I like his effects a lot. I'm running three dragon. A lot of people say, man, what's wrong with you? Why are you running three dragon? Three dragon is, you know, to me, perfect ratio for I'm running a pure Shadal build. On top of that, he's a beat stick. So if nothing else, I can just get him on the field, beat your opponent down. His flip effect will allow you to bounce one card up on the field back to the opponent's hand, so that's always a good option. A lot of uh, XYZ, Synchros, Fusions, Link Monsters, if they put all that resource into it, bounce it back to the hand, they lost all that resource. On top of that, if he's getting sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you're still gonna get to pop a card like an MST, so I like that. Running three. Squamata, Squamata is just going to help you beat any Shadal you want him to be. Send him to the graveyard if you need that beast effect, get it. You want that dragon, get it. You want that hedgehog, get it. You know, whatever effect you want to get, you're going to got it when you got him sending him to the graveyard. Also, too, his monster effect, when it flips, he gets to destroy a card. Monster, monster, remember that. Next, I'm running two Shadal Hound. A lot of people dislike Shadal Hound, but to me, I like his effect a lot. Also, the main reason why is because of the sub terror link monster. So you can send this card off the effect as you set one and get that effect to activate immediately when it's sent to the graveyard. But also, too, I like his flip effect. His flip effect allows you to return one Shadal card back to your hand. So you're not going to run out of resources. It's going to help you keep replenishing your hand. We're running two Shadal Hedgehog. Hedgehog just helps you get all your searches if he's flipped. He helps you get your fusions. If he's sent to the graveyard by a card effect, he's gonna help you get a Shadal in hand. And that's gonna help you a lot when you gotta get those pitch effects or just you replenish your hand and get more card advantage. And lastly for the Shadals, I'm running three, Falco. Falco is just, you know, your dodge expert. He's gonna keep special summoning monsters to the field. He's a monster reborn on the flip. Also on top of that, if he's sent by a card effect, He's going to special summon his self back. So I like that a lot. And that helps you get a lot of good advantage to keep your board presence. I'm also running two Jet Synchron. And this is to help to get into our Fire Fusion Monster, which our Gristia, which is very, very useful. It's a solemn warning with legs. I mean, it's going to help you be able to, they pin summon, hit them all. If they summon a big Link Monster and you don't want to see it, go ahead and hit it. And also, too, it's going to help you getting some good synchro plays as well. So I like him a lot. And lastly, for the monsters, I'm running one glow up bulb because glow up bulb is glow up bulb. He's going to help you get a meal off the top. And if it's a Shadal card, you're going to get that effect. But that is it for our monsters. For our spell cards, we're running three Allure Darkness. I'm still liking Allure Darkness. I did try the. Um, Spellbook engine, but it didn't work to me. It, I mean, it was good. Don't get me wrong. It helps you search. You can use your Shadals as the spellcasters use their effects. But to me, it took up too much card placement. And I just like getting, you know, draw two, banish one, one that you don't need. Go on with your place from there. It's going to still help you milk, get through the deck the way you want to. We're running the one Monster Reborn since it's back. Monster Reborn is a very good card. You know, you're going to select that monster that you need to get back, and it's going to help you extend your plays. We're running one Foolish Burial, just because Foolish Burial can be any Shadal you want it to be. It can be an MST, it can be an Upstart, it can be a Rota, or it can be a Monster Reborn. Whatever you want this to be, your Shadal is going to help you get that effect off. We're also running two Instafusion. Instafusion is just going to help you get those Fusion Monsters out there a little easier. You know, you get your wind out there and then get another combo play off that. You get your Sea Monster Theseus out there, go into any other combo play you want to go after that. But it's going to help you get some advantage. We're running three. Shadal Fusion, Shadal Fusion. Everybody's running something out of the extra deck. If they place a Link Monster out there, say, thank you, sir. Let me go and get that Shadal Fusion, send some stuff out of the deck. This right here is going to help you get to your window, 
be able to help to make you sure that your opponent's not special something like crazy if you get out there first but this is a second turn card if you want to use it for the uh, deck effect but just to be able to get a wind out there helps out a lot we're also running three of the El Shaddai Fusion since it's back to three this right here and you know a lot of people sit there and say it's a junk card it's a no good card but this card can help you pretty much OTK your opponent if you do your plays right you get two or three uh, Shadals out there, you end up attacking and then going to whatever fusion you want to get extra damage, or you can just wait and use it as a defensive card and get out a big Chickenaga on board. It can be a very good card for you. It can help you do a lot of damage for your, on your opponent. I'm also running one defusion, and the reason why I'm doing that is you can go for OTKs, like I was saying with the El Shadal fusion on top of that. You can also, it can help you get to your link monsters. Like I said, you can go into a window, stop your opponent, hit damage, and then go defusion, give some more damage with your uh, fusion materials, and then go into a link monster and then set up your board on that. But it can very help you do a lot of good little nutty plays. And lastly, for our spell cards, we're running one scapegoat. One scapegoat's enough for this deck. Uh, you run more than one, it gets a little cloggy. You're not going to be able to use, you know, multiple scapegoats at one time because you got four monsters going to load up the board and a lot of times you're going to need your space so you can do your link monsters you're going to do your fusions you're going to have to keep getting your falcos back so one scapegoat is very good and that is it for our spell cards for our trap cards we're running one solemn warning just because warning is warning we're running two solemn strikes because strike is strike and the new big daddy back once again off the, fresh off the band list is our Solemn Judgment and the Trifecta is finally back. Just be sure that you play skillfully. You don't just sit there and just pay a bunch of life points for no good reason. Because this is well, if you do it right, you can stay under the life point banner. But if you pop this off forward first, you're going to have a hard time getting the others to work. But it's very skillful. But you know what you got to do. Hit them where it hurts. Right in the biscuit. And lastly for our traps. We're running three... Sinister Shadow Games, because like I said, once again, this could be an MST, it could be a Rota, it could be a Foolish, it can be whatever you need it to be. And by sending those uh, Shadal monsters to the graveyard, it can help you set up your graveyard and also help set up no plays for next turn. And that is it for our main deck. For our extra deck, run two El Shadal Shikinaga. Shikinaga is a good card, you know, to be able to stop those. Special summon monster extra deck effects is just, you know, really good. And to be able to put her in defense mode, 3k booty is hard to get around. So she can help out a lot with a lot of your plays. I'm running one El Shadal Gristia. Gristia doesn't have the best attack points. 2450 is not very good, but the fact that you can pretty much be like a warning or a strike or judgment or whatever can help out a lot in a lot of your card effects and stopping your opponent's plays. Running three El Shadal Winda. Winda, in my opinion, is the best Shadal. Just the fact that you can make sure your opponent cannot do a whole bunch of crazy special summons. Especially summon one little baby monster. Stop it right then and there. They're not gonna get no more plays. On top of that, Torrential is a thing right now. It gets back to three. You got Bottomless, it's at three. You have Rageki. You got Dark Hole. Winda's gonna survive that. It's not gonna be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. So that helps out a lot whenever you have to make your plays. Running one sea monster Theseus. Theseus is, you know, there's a love-hate relationship with this card, but it's still a good card. It can help you get into real quick uh, synchro plays and can help you get on a lot of board advantage going for yourself. Running one Trisha because the deck can go into Trish so fast, and you really want to punish your opponent for, you know, putting stuff out there they don't need to put out there too fast. I'm running two Cyframe Lord Omegas. And the main reason I, why this is is because if you're able to get two of these off and then set up a good board lock, you're doing pretty good. And that's going to keep your opponent at bay. But And also, two Cypher and Lord Omega is going to be able to sneak those cards back out of the banish pile. That way you can really you reuse them and re-multiply your effects. Also, to be able to, whenever it's destroyed and in the graveyard, spin it back into the extra deck, reuse them again. It's always a good card. 
running one black rose just because things can get a little hairy sometimes, a little out of control. So you just want to wipe the board and hit the reset button. Running one Jet Warrior just because we're running our Jet Synchron. And I like the fact that he can bounce a card on Summon. And also, too, you can tribute off one of your low level monsters and just go ahead and get him back on the field and even go into a synchro play after that if you need to. We're running one Deco Talker just because Deco Talker can, you know, be big and beefy when you need him to be. And also, on top of that, can help by making sure that monster effects are not going to be popping off and targeting your cards. And lastly, for the extra deck, we're running two Subterra Behemoth Fiendish. This card is, you know, the Shadal support. I mean, it works very, very good with the deck to be able to send a Shadal, set a card, which is going to be a Shadal card in your hand. Usually, you're going to hope it's going to be Beast of Falco. And then, if you send your Hound to the graveyard, it's going to flip that card right up. You're going to get the effect immediately. So, that helps out the deck a lot and helps you get a lot of good plays. Also, too, can help you add, you know, flip effects from the uh, graveyard to the hand. So that could be very useful. Very, very useful. But that is it for the deck profile, guys. Leave a comment. Let us know what you think.